the need. Can I just get a quick show of hands for anyone who has dealt with or maybe known someone who has gone through self-worth issues? Yeah, that's, that's a fair few hands who feel the same. We've actually created an app to help develop and build the self-worth of young teenagers in high school. But before that, let me just introduce you to one. This is Ali Davidson. She attends St. Tuts High School. She is 14 years old. She loves Instagram. She really loves Instagram. And she hangs out with her friends a lot. Actually, this weekend just gone by, she went to Commercial Bay, had some young food, talked about boys, and took some photos. Worst part though, she got home and she was cropped out of every single photo. Am I too ugly? Am I not good enough? Am I the problem? These are what was the thoughts that were going through her head. But no, that's actually not the problem, Ali. Ali, you are not the problem. The problem is your self-worth is being defined by others. You're letting self-worth, which by definition is the way in which you value and respect yourself, be defined by what people say about you, the photos you're cropped in, or, or other metrics. The worst part is Ali's not alone. We talk to students, we talk to parents, we talk to counselors, youth mentors, teachers, deans, and the resounding result is the same. People are letting their self-worth be defined by other metrics. Uh, one of the students we talked to said, if you don't get an excellence, then you're a failure. One of the mums we talked to was in awe. I didn't know my son was struggling. I had no idea how to help him. One of the deans we talked to said that there was this just immense pressure for perfection, and there's almost a stigma when you're not okay. In fact, the World Health Organization said that 50% of all mental health issues incur and start when you're 14. Is anyone here 14 years old? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, these happen and occur and are untraced, which means that by the time you figure out and find out about them, it's already too late to prevent them. It's now time for a cure. That's not what we're here for. Better Me is about being the ambulance at the top of the hill rather than the bottom. We would like to catch Ali before she falls. Prevention rather than a cure. How are we gonna do this though? I've just talked a lot about this problem and the sad story. Well, we've actually created an app, as I've said before. This app is called Better Me and it sends you daily notifications of little tasks or challenges. Now they're not too hard, they're not like a triple backflip or climb Mount Everest, it's go for a two minute walk. These are achievable by most people. What this does is gives you a sense of, as I said before, achievement and winning. In Times Magazine, they did a study where they said that these little daily achievements and tasks provide that sense of satisfaction and gratification that no matter how your day has gone, you have already won. And you are actually okay and you're doing well. And this is great. Let's talk a little bit about the app. Now, it's clean. These kids who are using it, they're digitally native. They grew up on these devices. They don't really need a tutorial. It's simple, it's not too cluttered. We use accents of yellow because, you know, joy and happiness, who doesn't love that? But how does it actually work? Well, once you've completed your daily task, I've gone for my two minute walk, I jump into the app, and then, ah, oh, I've got this cute little avatar that I've already created, I'm on this little map, I just click complete task. She, he, they walk across, they go to the top, and then up pops, ah, oh, amazing work. Validation and encouragement. You alongside 2,100 blah, blah, blah people, you're not alone, have completed this today. How are you feeling about today's task? We can gain data and insights from that. And how are you feeling today? Oh my gosh, look, Ali's been happy for three days in a row. Incredible. So this is how we gain our data from stuff. Um, what is the initial cost? Well, a little figure, $63,350. How are we gonna do that? We're actually in discussions of a partnership with a company called Loft. We can get grants, we can get crowdfunding, and we are looking at other partnerships as well. But in terms of longevity and how we're gonna scale past that, we are looking to target high schools where these students are. We're looking to initially start on a 90-day trial, which after that we can look at analytics like school attendance, extracurricular activity, as well as um, grades, and we can look at our own data, such as how they're feeling, how many tasks have they completed, and have they completed them in a row. From this, once they see these analytics, the schools are obviously going to sign up. They're going to get reviewed by the Education Review Office, and we will charge them $10,000 per term. So just to recap, we have Ali at the top. She is, her self-worth is not being defined by herself. 
She goes to school. Oh.